All right, we're set. He sounds like Hector. The whole world can burn Wait, what? Why does he have two voices? Oh, he, oh, he's the colorless tome. Oh. Wait, is he? Yeah, he is. I take my stand here. Why does Bramimund have, like, three different voices? What's going on there? <laughs> he has four voices. <laughs> Is he, like, a hive mind? Oh, Alm's on here. Okay. Oh, Makaya's on here, too. Wait, is that true? <laughs> Who are all conveniently Hector's, Roy's, Elliot Woods, and Lynn's voices? That's actually pretty cool if that's true. So he mirrors the person he speaks to? Oh, that's actually really cool. I forgot about that completely. It's been so long since I've played FE7 and actually like, paid attention to the story. But yeah, I do remember at least meeting Bramimund. I think you do meet him, right? So he's going to be an infantry gray tome. He's a dark mythic. Interesting. All right, let's let's look at the damages here. Let's just skip straight to the C skill because that's what people are are talking about in chat. During combat, disable skills of all foes, excluding foe in combat. That's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> Oh, but you know what? That makes it much harder to do, um... Shoot. Well, hold on. Yeah, that makes it much harder to do um, Omni-Tanking on a Light Dark Week in, in AR. Because usually you would, like, have your Light Tank just kind of sit there and get spur buffs from Corrin or someone, or Caden. But yeah, or, or Lucina, but you can't do that if if you're fighting uh, Bramimund. Wow. That is actually pretty strong, not gonna lie. Otherwise, we have Void Tome. Grants attack plus three at start of combat. If foes attack... I'm sorry, what? If foes attack... How do I read this? <laughs> oh, okay, I thought it was trying to say if your attack is 50 greater than their attack, but no. Okay, so if foes attack is greater than 50, or if penalty is active on foe, grants blah plus 5 to unit during combat. Start of combat, if foe's speed is greater than 35, or if penalties active on foe, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack. <sighs> okay. And he has attack, defense, push 4, which we've seen those skills before, so we know what it does. This is a pretty crazy unit. His Voidum has two different effects on it. First, it checks if they have higher attack than 50. Then it checks if they have speed 35 or higher. But you can... I'm guessing that, yeah, the attack is accounted for, or the, the weapon is accounted for. I feel like it must be. Whenever else they refer to like the attack side of the opponent, they usually lump in the, the might of the weapon. Or you can just ignore the checks entirely. Like, as long as it's a penalty active on foe, you get both checks. So, you get plus 5 to those stats, and you get guaranteed follow-up attack. And it's really hard to avoid debuffs on AR offense. You have to have like dedicated units to block chills and stuff like that. So yeah, fighting Bramimund is going to be really freaking annoying. <laughs> I don't know if my Tsubaki can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> Subak is my light weak uh, tank. Can't bike tank that. Um, can bike tank this? So bike, probably. Like it's not like Rami Rami Bunda would have um, what's it called? Weapon triangle. But 
he does have low attack res, so that would lower Ike's res by 3. And he has impenetrable, impenetrable dark, so that would disable Lucina's... Uh, Lucina skills for the Raven Tome meta. <laughs> it's coming back, baby. <laughs> Doesn't Sophia have a Raven Tome? Am I remembering that correctly? It's time. How long have we waited? We can look more at Bramimund later. We're gonna take a look at this banner now. Yeah, honestly, we might need like dedicated, <laughs> dedicated Bramimund counters that have like triangle adept raven dome which is fantastic he's gonna be super annoying to fight let's look at the the, the voice actors again real quick because i missed it before yeah patrick seats wendy lee ray chase that's pretty cool tanks overrated raven dome activated finally it's lion's time to shine i thought sophia also had the raven dome but i i guess, I guess i'm wrong yeah, he says C skill is something. He's basically like just a super. What do you mean by disabling all skills? So it means that it's disabling uh, any units that are like granting his opponent uh, spur buffs. So like, if Lucina is granting Ike plus three to all stats, then uh, that gets disabled. So if you're playing uh, AR offense and you always like just tank the enemy's team by granting Ike or someone spur buffs. That's not gonna work. At least not against this guy in particular. Is this power creep? Uh, I don't know if it's power creep as much as it is just like directly countering what the meta is right now. <laughs> yeah, it's a meta shaker. He's not, he's not power creeping anybody in particular. It's just that he's, he's upsetting the balance of the world. Ike outdated. Long if we waited. Lion activated. Um, on gray, we got Robin, Brambybund, and Camilla. Gray's pretty good. Robin is kind of a dud, a dud, but still all right, I guess. Actually, no, Robin's kind of a, a big dud. I don't even know who this is. He's from uh, FE7. Yeah, it's true, actually. Combined with low attack res, you can't even do like vis uh, visible buffs either for res. That's actually a really good point. Why does his C skill just scream fuck everyone? <laughs> the best you can do is like try to just play so carefully so that your tank uh, doesn't get debuffed at all. <laughs> that way you can at least double him in retaliation and maybe kill him. Maybe this is their way of trying to push us into doing more like Gale Force, like more player face stuff on AR offense. Gray is good. Red has Roy, Altina, and Alm. Also pretty good. Alm has good uh, fodder. He has attack speed, or threatened attack speed 4, so that's that's pretty good. I have Brave Alm, I just haven't thought, you know, like, who should I give threatened attack speed to? I might give it to Brave, or, um, Resplendent Cordelia, actually. Brandon wants us to try social distancing with our tanks. I like that. <laughs> Why is Fjorm there? No one invited Fjorm. On blue, we got Fjorm, Peony, and who else here is blue? And Tiki. I wouldn't pull on blue personally. Honestly, I, th I find it kind of hard to justify for the old uh, legendaries, the ones that don't have paired up, because they have lower stats and. I mean, I guess Tiki actually has 180, so that's a little easier to, to, to justify, but yeah. I feel like any orbs you could be spending on old legendaries, you could be saving for the future legendaries, which are going to be even more busted. Peony's good, though, so I mean. I don't know if I would summon on this banner if you want Peony in particular, though. I might wait for the next one. Finally, on green, we have Micaiah, Mamory, and Thrazer. Green is also pretty good, actually. I think all colors except for green. Green? No. Uh, blue are good. I don't think I'm going to pull on this, although it is tempting. If I did pull, it'd be red or gray. But I already have Brave Camilla, so... Unless I wanted... Oh, you know what, though? Camilla has a attack speed push for her A skill. That's a really good skill for fodder. 
but Robin is such a huge dud. <laughs> I'm pulling the fuck out of this banner? I don't blame you. The only problem is, um, since he's like a defense mythic, it's like, he's good, but you don't get to use him. <laughs> you just let the AI use him, which is kind of annoying. It's like, when I pulled Yuna, I was really excited, and I gave her sturdy impact, and she's really good. But, like, I never get to actually use her, because she's mostly just used for AR defense, where the AI controls her. Imagine if he was offense. Yeah, that would be pretty nutty. <laughs> and he has attack defense push? Man. Yeah, he really does just completely counter the meta, doesn't he? He's gonna have, like, good defense too, isn't he? He's probably gonna have, like, painfully average speed and then, like, high everything else. That's true, actually. Yeah, his C skill is more useful on, uh, on defense than offense. Man, does this guy counter repel and close call? No. So as long as the skills are, like, on... Hold on, what's, what's the best way to explain this? He disables the skills of everybody except for the one that he's fighting. So if he's fighting Marita, then Marita will still get the effects of her uh, close call or her, or her repel. But if you have, like, Peony lined up behind Marita, then Marita won't get the attack speed plus three buff that Peony would usually give her. And yeah, that's what I was thinking of, actually. Like, since he's dark... Like, everybody runs Peony on light, and Peony gives, like, an easy attack speed plus three if you just line her up behind your tank. That's not gonna work against, uh, Brammy Mud. That's right, yeah. So he just negates all support units that are granting him buffs. Yeah, not to mention the guaranteed follow-up attack, that's also a thing. <laughs> yeah, he's a really good... Defense Mythic, he might be the best, although Lyft and Thracer are also really good. How many of each uh, element do we have? We have three Darks, two Lights, three Animas, and two Astras. So that means we're getting a Light or, or uh, Astra next, right? This unit has no counterplay. Yeah, I'll be interested in seeing how people counter Brammyman. <laughs> For Dark only, that's right, yeah. So on Astra, Anima Week, you're free. It kind of sucks, because, like, I lean so heavily on Tsubaki for my light offense, and I don't know how Tsubaki will do against will do against Ramuland. You know what, though? He's definitely not going to pass attack uh, over 50, so I don't have to worry about that. Tsubaki might still be the play. I'll let you guys know. If, if Tsubaki is, like, a consistent counter for this guy, then I'll, I'll let you all know. I am not optimistic, because Tsubaki's res isn't even that good. And usually I would, like, grant him res plus 6 with Kaden, but that won't work because of because of this. You know what's funny? When I first saw the thumbnail, like, like since you mentioned he looks kind of generic, I thought I was looking at um, Anankos. You know how Anankos has, like, that, uh, like, humanoid form? Yeah! <laughs> Green Button, I had the exact same reaction. I'm glad we're getting more variety of, like the games that the Mythics are coming from, because we've had two from Talius. We haven't had any from uh, FE7, I don't think. Cool, cool, cool. I don't have much else to say. Is Kyria on here? No, it's uh, Alm instead. Yeah, Kyria's all the way down here. Was Mamory that recent? Really? I'm surprised. So they, like, cut, cut ahead all the way to, to here. Yeah, so I guess they skipped all these reds and went straight to Alm. But I don't know, like the Brave... For some reason the Brave units get some kind of weird priority. And they actually like get cycled back through sometimes. So like Makai will probably appear on another legendary banner later on. They're definitely transitioning to the point where like most seasonals are going to be on those special double hero banners. I wonder when we're getting the... I wonder when we're getting the next one. Are we going to get a skill that cancels skills, that cancels other unit skills? So, like, if this is impenetrable dark, the counter skill would be, like, penetrating the impenetrable dark. He is cool. I agree. I like how he has the four different voice actors, and I, and I, and I like how he looks. 
At first I was like, wait, why does he sound just like Hector? That's kind of lazy, they're reusing the voices. I was supposed to be sitting for Legendary Krong, SMH. Stay strong, my friend, save your orbs. Because the next Legendary, or next Mythic, is always going to be like... is also going to be really good. Also, who is this guy? He looks like Fallen Kyran. Uh, that would actually be a really cool idea for a unit. <laughs> Bramimund is from FE7. Um, in the Alib lore, it's like he was one of the heroes that killed the dragons during the Scouring, right? If if Flynn is still here, he can he can confirm that. And he's still alive during the events of FE7, so you meet him. And uh, I don't remember why he, like... Like, he doesn't come with you or anything. He just kind of hangs out underground, I think. Why are the best characters the fuckers we don't know, Altina? Now this dude, that's actually an excellent point. <laughs> Altina wasn't even in, like, the Choose Your Legends. Uh, like, she wasn't even an option, I don't think. <clears throat> uh, he lost his personality. That's right. That's actually, like, a consistent theme in FE7, right? Is that, like, dark magic, like, corrupts you somehow? Because I think Kanas talks about that, too, in his supports. IS juked us pretty hard, because we were all thinking it'd be like a light hero and that it'd be a Shara with Carlos Tome, but nope. It's this guy. When I was first reading this, my mind was like shorting out. I was like, wait, attack greater than equal to 50? Wait, so is it saying that if the opponent's attack is greater is 50 points higher than yours? Is he gonna have like two attack? Is, is, that, is that like the gimmick? Is he like a Yu-Gi-Oh card with zero attack points? The idea behind these conditions is neat. I like the idea of, like, checking the enemy stats to see if it's a certain threshold. But then, like, it doesn't matter, because they're almost certainly going to have penalties on them anyway. So it's like, why even bother? Also, 35 is very 35 is very low, isn't it? I feel like most tanks reach 35 by accident. Not most, but some. Like, Ike can reach 35 speed. <laughs> Weapon descriptions are very long now, that's true. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to spend orbs, so I won't be doing a summoning stream. It'll be hard to restrain myself, but yeah. I've been thinking of actually changing Micaiah's um, IV, but that's a, a big undertaking, so I might not bother. <laughs>, Laughs in Selena. <laughs> I'll, I'll report back to you guys and let you know if Tsubaki is, is the counter here. It would be pretty funny if he was. I'm gonna head out and edit this video. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. I appreciate it. We got a couple more viewers than usual. Uh, if you want, you can follow the stream, and you can catch us the next time we do a trailer reaction. We we always do trailer reactions for the uh, for the Fey trailers, almost always.